Um, when you're little, they call every level has a different limit to how high the top girl can go. And so level one, they actually call it gut level, which makes me laugh a little bit. But they, you can hold them right at your belly button, and that's the highest you can go on one leg. On two legs, you can hold them at shoulder level, which is called prep level in cheerleading. In level two, you can do one-legged stunts at shoulder level and extended stunts with two legs. And then, and then once you get to level three, everything can be extended, which is over your head and on one leg. And then as it goes to four and five, the difference becomes what kind of dismounts and, and, and like mounts into what you're doing to that leg you can do. I mean, the hardest stunt that in cheerleading right now is, is called a TikTok in which the, the top girl will go up on one foot and hold, you know, one body position, which could be, you know, holding her foot over her head or putting it by her side or whatever they want to do and then switching to the other one where there's a full release involved and then they catch the other foot at the top. So that's, that's become the, the cool, trendy thing to, to try this year. Whether you can hit it under pressure is the question. When they come in the gym the first time the team is together, we ask them to do a line, get a line, shortest to tallest which for the little ones takes a really long time because they spend five minutes measuring each other. But for the older kids, it's just shortest to tallest. We pull out the people that we know will be the top girls and then pull out the five or six tallest people to be behind that person because they have to be tall enough to reach as, as high as they can, like on her ankle or on her calf or right underneath her shoe. And then we pull the two bases need to be extremely similar in height. And so we'll look and, you know, see who, who looks like they were would work together or if they had worked well together before and we know that we try to keep them as similar as we can because trust is a huge issue especially when you're flying and twisting and spinning all the time and so if the same stunt group from the season before makes the team again then they all stay together.